Okay, everybody, we will um, proceed to the last, if I may, the last session, not last session, last talk of this session. Mm -hmm. Now we have a little issue. Um, this is a paper from our colleagues from Ukraine, um, one of whom is here, but unfortunately she lost her voice. So she cannot present it herself, but I offered to go through the PowerPoint and if I go wrong, she will stop me and indicate. Okay, so we will unpack as we go together. Okay, I, I would like to do that rather than cancel it. Are you in agreement? Yes. So um, we have the following title, Virtual Lexicographic Laboratory in Linguistic Research Based on Dictionary Content. So if I unpack this, it's basically using a dictionary as its own corpus to do linguistics. Yeah? We have a dictionary. We're going to try to look into that dictionary to discover things which, for which it was not meant. Okay. Um, do I have, yes. Oh, you're doing it. Okay, it's magic. Um, so we are in the field of uh, computational lexicography. Um, the area is, it studies problems of applying computer scientific methods for building a wide range of systems to create support and work with lexicographic resources. So, it's a branch of the computer industry. Um, some well-known dictionaries that have been traditionally made on paper, as we know, are all moving to the digital format. Explanatory dictionaries um, are considered to be comprehensive, comprehensive source of information uh, that can be used for linguistic research or languages in general. Um, yes. You need, and I think the last line is important, appropriate tools. It's not just enough to be able to search a dictionary. You must have something more, let's say, Boolean expressions and others to be able to really find what you're looking for in your dictionary. My mic more like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a professional. Yes, if we can do that as we move, yes, let's do that. I understand. We will try to fix that. Okay, as a case study, while we're trying to set this up, um, we'll be using a... a dictionary of Spanish. I feel like in a makeup room suddenly. Uh, on, the, on the fly. Ooh, now it's suddenly very loud. Okay, is this okay? Yeah, much better. You... Now, now I even have to undress partly, I'm sorry, yes? Okay, we're getting there. So we're going to use a Spanish language dictionary, the 23rd edition of the Diccionario de la Lengua Española, DLE 23. Uh, released in October 24, it's also available on a CD, obviously also online. Here is a, a picture of the cover of the dictionary. You have the imprint details. So the task of this project is to design and implement linguistic tools for analyzing the information in that dictionary. Why that dictionary? Well, Spanish is a big international language. The dictionary itself is credible. It has an academic status. School of Lexicography. I assume it was compiled in the proper way, the academic way. So in addition, the dictionary in question is of interest to translation lexicography while creating translation systems. For example, looking at the Spanish, Ukrainian, or vice versa dictionaries. Why was this dictionary also chosen? Because it's available digitally and uh, in a format that can be used, HTML5. Okay. Still in the intro part. Successful implementation of this project would be uh, leading to great advances in translation lexicography, linguistics to study the principles of 
how Spanish vocabulary is presented and developing new approaches to designing explanatory dictionary interfaces. Okay, methodological section. As a theoretical basis, we use a theory of lexicographic systems developed and proposed by a colleague in Ukraine, Volodymyr Shirokov. Got there roughly, thank you. Um, so there's a lexicographic system, the L system, is a special informational, semiotic and semantic, semantic system in which a lexicographic effect or a combination of lexicographic effects is induced. We consider the dictionary as a lexicographic system of special types with a set of language units and a set of their descriptions. If I'm not mistaken, this colleague is also a mathematician. He likes formulas, so there we go again. We have D. To expand the top line, you need to know that D is dictionary, I, D, that's a fourth set of language units, and so on and so on. I also see it for the first time, but anyway, uh, we use this formula. We agree with the colleague that this is the right formula. Um, method and technology. So we have that formula, the L system architecture, three levels and a conceptual and internal and an external level. One of the main aspects in the definition of an L system top is an information system of a special type or do, 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 is a concept of its architecture. How do you read this properly? As, okay, one of the main aspects in the definition of an L system as an information system of a special type is the concept of its architecture. Now, this, uh, this fund here, the Ukrainian Lingua Information Fund, has developed the software to support this project and to create, to maintain, and then to have it functioning in a digital environment. Now we move to uh, the Spanish data itself. So developing the VLL for Spanish on these three levels, building up a conceptual model, entry text analysis, entry structure, the development of the database, choosing a type of database, making as a final step, the web application. Um, it's still in being planned and, and the planning is to have two stages, creating a shortened version of the VLL with minimum interface elements and two, developing the fully functional application with an expanded interface. And currently the project is at the first stage and it demonstrates more capabilities for working with the dictionary in a digital environment. I think you can try it out already. It is live at that internet address. The current interface allows you to work on these levels, on the level of the headword list, the entry profile and the do also full text searches. Adware list with search filters like in the original Spanish dictionary, something contain, contains something, something starts with something or ends with something, so typical Boolean searches. Entry profile for making a sample of entries which satisfy the parameters of entry elements and then a full text search to select entries by specific meta language elements of dictionary text. This is a screenshot of the main window of that Spanish dictionary. So you have all the La Mata here. We are on A, uh, probably the first lemma in the dictionary, homonym number one. The underlying code is here. I think you wanted me to point out that there are over 100,000 lemmas in that dictionary, okay? Hear a bit more about the statistics. It's a different number. It was 100,000, now it's 90,000, uh, 1,500 references, 5,000 homonyms, and so on and so on. Collocates, 12,000 collocates of different types, first type, second type, collocates. 
So here's another screenshot, but we are on a, one of the morphemes, DAS in Spanish. Um, we see statistics that pertain to only this one. Okay. Amount of entries. So the search here was, we have 295 answers looking for the character dash. So there are 208, 295 morphemes. So given the dashes on the right, it starts a word in Spanish. Eh? Okay. I think this slide explains everything you can do based on the existing structure. So a, a head word can have variants. The structure of each one is word, collocation, morpheme, and so on. Um, are these things you can use in your search? Yeah, I think we will see what this means when you have actual examples, um, but I think it's self-evident. You have more equal less than something. Hmm? So this is the interface of the first phase that you build to search the dictionary. You put in parameters, you omit certain things or you include certain things, you click and you search the Spanish dictionary. Okay. And these are indeed some of the conditions that you can then say, yeah. mm -hmm. you, you select. So these are parameters for head words. Here is an example of a search or the, the output of a search. We have 313 of what words that are borrowed from other languages in Spanish only. Only out of, what was it, 100,000? 300 words come from another language. And what was the parameter that you used to search for that? Can I see it here? No, this is the HTML of this. So do I go back to the previous slide to see that? Where did you, how did you select or indicate I want borrowed words? Where is that? I don't see it, but I'm going to have to believe you. Yes. But how is it packed in the dictionary? How is a word that is borrowed indicated in the dictionary? Perhaps someone who knows and can read the Spanish. Vos Vasca means, Vos is language, Vasca. Perhaps that's the indication that it is borrowed. The first part of in green. Anyway, somewhere in the code, there must be an indication that it's a borrowed word. You can search for that and then you get. Reggiani, you know Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discovering procedure. Um, How come? Is it the same slide? No, 313, 231. This is a variation of the previous one. It's a smaller, it's a subset. Yes, so the first one were all the borrowed words in Spanish of which we had 313. Now within that you look for the monosemantic words. Words with one meaning, monosemantic. One, okay, you say one definition, huh? Of course, these are all agreements. Um, just one line, one definition, okay? The next example of searching, using the dictionary as its own corpus. Que siente? Where am I? Que siente, yes. So, que siente, 
sentir, uh, feel, so who feels something. So basically you search the whole dictionary for that phrase, que siente, and then you get all the verbs of this type, of which there are 57. Yes? So one of those verbs is uh, gusto, uh, gustoso, that fulfills this parameter. Okay. So that was phase one. So what shall we do in future? Um, in the next version of this project, the, structure, the structural profile of the dictionary entry will be determined by all the structural elements of the conceptual model. The user will be able to select the entries by indicating obligatory presence or absence of a certain element in the structure. And additionally, the user will have the possibility of specifying specific contents or parts of the structural elements. The Ukrainians in absentia and the one present, thank you for your attention.